Welcome to this video on Tableau's Google Analytics Connector. Google Analytics is a service offered by Google that generates detailed statistics about a website's traffic, traffic sources, conversions, and sales. It's the most widely used website tracking service. Tableau connects natively to dozens of data sources, including Google Analytics website tracking data. In the Connect to Data screen, select the Google Analytics Connector under the To a Server heading. We'll be prompted with a pop-up box in which to enter our Google user credentials. Sign in and give Tableau Desktop access. Once we have been successfully authenticated, we're prompted with a connection dialog. In step one, we choose the associated account, property, and profile of our website. In the example here, I have only one option for each, as my account only tracks one website. If you are tracking multiple sites, there may be more options available to you here. Secondly, we'll select the date range for which we'd like to analyze our data. The default setting is the previous 30 days, but the dropdown presents us with a list of options. If this is a static, one-off analysis, simply select a time frame. If the data will need to be refreshed on a recurring basis, it is always a best practice to select a fixed start for the date range. We can select the date on which we'd like to begin our analysis. In the Google Analytics Connector, we are required to specify the dimensions and measures we wish to use for analysis. This is a limitation of the Google Analytics API, as this connector is limited to pulling samples from Google's databases in order to provide the dataset. As stated in the header, we are allowed up to seven dimensions and 10 measures. We'll use the Add Dimension dropdown to add categorical or qualitative fields to our dataset and Add Measure to add our quantitative data. The date dimension is added by default. Note that it is not necessary to add each level of date aggregation as a separate dimension, as Tableau can aggregate dates itself. Dimensions and measures are categorized according to the type of analysis they are usually used to create. These categories are expandable or collapsible with the drop-down caret to the left of the category name. The Add Dimension and Measure menus also come with the ability to search for specific columns. Any selected columns can be dropped from the dataset by clicking the red X icon to the right of the column name. We're also able to use the Choose Measure Group dropdown to populate our measures with some common combinations of analytical fields. In this example, we'll use a custom combination of measures. After selecting our data for analysis, we can lastly choose a specific segment by which to filter our data. This menu is similar to the Add Dimension and Measure dropdowns, but acts as an overall filter for the data source if we'd only like to examine a particular portion of our website. By default, the segment will be set to All Sessions. Lastly, we'll give the connection a name in Tableau and click Sheet 1 to begin our analysis. Google Analytics data is automatically pulled into Tableau's in memory fast data engine as a Tableau data extract. This saves a local copy of the data on our machine in the default file path for Tableau data sources. This is true of many cloud data sources as application connections cannot persistently query the Google Analytics database. Data extracts can be thought of as a snapshot of the database at the given moment they are taken. If we wish to add another dimension or measure to our analysis, we can right-click the Google Analytics connection in the data pane and choose to edit data source. From here, we'll utilize the dialog as before. Though be aware that upon clicking back into my analysis, Tableau will rebuild the entire extract. The time to complete the extract process as a whole varies on the size of the sample, network connection, among other factors. Once this extract has completed, it can be published and scheduled to refresh on a recurring basis using Tableau's data server. Google Analytics extracts are enabled for full refresh by default, but incremental refresh is only available if we have selected a fixed start date for our data source. 
Once connected to Google Analytics data, analysis is the same as for any data source. Google Analytics data is often used in conjunction with other data in order to compare and contrast website usage with user data. To learn more, check out the resources linked below the video. Thank you for watching this Google Analytics Connector training video. We invite you to continue with the on-demand training videos to learn more about using Tableau.